Hello everybody, welcome back to day seven of Vlogmas. Today I thought I would share with you some of my projects that I've made over the years, some of my crafting projects and how I made them. And what inspired me to do this video this evening about crafting projects is you can make all sorts of projects, you guys, for Christmas for your decorating purposes. Like you can make your own Christmas ornaments or your own bowls for your doors, your own Christmas wreaths and things like that. So I'm gonna share with you a few things that I've made over the years um, and just tell you what you can do with some of your projects. Um, I actually purchased this dress from, I believe it was Kirkland's years ago. And the dress came white. It was just a plain white dress. So when I purchased it, I knew I was gonna bring it home and just do something totally different with it because my room was pink and white. So I brought the dress home, I painted it pink. And if you notice, there's an ombre effect. So what I did was I painted the whole dress pink and then I ombre it in different pink glitters. The top is sort of like a bubblegum pink glitter. Then the middle is sort of like a baby pink. And then I sort of wanted it to be like a mermaid at the bottom. So the mermaid was kind of like a mermaid dark pink or pink glitter. And um, I love the way it came out. I've had it for years. I did put the silver bows at the top because the bows weren't there. So that was something that I added to the dress. Um, and that was actually one of my first big pro projects when I started crafting. Um, and I absolutely love the way it turned out. I also made one for Justine, but I had to use cardboard um, to make hers. And what I did was I just cut the dress out in cardboard and then I, I did hers in... Uh, I think I did little bows or something on hers. I did hers a little bit different from mine, but I thoroughly enjoyed making that that project and this one too. So that's one of my projects uh, that I made. All right, guys, this is my next project that I made a couple of years ago. It's a rose gold wreath. Um, if you follow me, you've probably seen this on my wall in several spots, um, but this was one of the first projects I made when I started crafting. Um, and what I did was um, I bought some rose gold cardstock and I cut it in strips and then I rolled it. I don't know if you can see that up close, but I just rolled it. And after I rolled it, I put it on the reef piece by piece. Um, it's just a flat reef that I got at Michael's. And um, I only decorated the front because I knew the back would be up against the wall and it'd be hanging like that. But I made the bow by hand. Um, and it took me a little while to roll all these pieces and to get it on. But once I did, I was thoroughly excited about the finished pro pro project. <laughs> Whew, so, um, yeah, so that's another that's another one of my projects that I made. And, you know, it's amazing if you just kind of sit down and think about how you want something to look. Sometimes you can make it exactly how it comes to your head because that that's how I do a lot of my projects. So yeah, that was another one. This was another uh, project that I made after my puppy Simbri died. Um, after she passed away, they did her little paw print on a card for me and each of her veterinarians signed it and did a little message to her. And when I received the card in the mail, I knew I was gonna wanna do something special with it. So I put it on a piece of canvas. Canvas was just white when I got it and I painted it pink all around. And I put her card in the middle. I glittered the, the uh, outside while the paint was still wet. And after it dried, I put the pink ribbon around with the little stones. And that was something else um, that I did as one of my projects. I just knew I wanted to keep this forever. And what better way to honor her than to, you know, put it on a canvas and put it on my wall forever. So that was another quick and simple project. That Another one of my projects, you guys, which I really am proud of is, I used to be heavy into making paper purses and I made this one one day. And um, I also used to make these for people that were getting married. Brides would reach out and ask for something special to be made for their bridesmaids. And I would make these and the brides would give these to the bridesmaids and put their little gift on the inside of the purse. But, um. This particular one I enjoyed making because I made each piece for the purse by hand. The whole purse itself was made by hand, but just making each piece for the purse 
and um, I put all the stones one by one on with the hearts and stuff and I did the um, diamond ribbon around the straps and this is just like a faux leather that I bought at Hobby Lobby and these are faux leather too um, but I had to cut each piece out you know and shape it myself I made all the ribbons on this piece this was a special piece to me um, and then on the back it just has a big bow on the back so I used to like thoroughly enjoy uh, making this kind of stuff and I still do I love crafting crafting is just one of the things that I love to do um, it takes my mind off of my migraine headaches and I love to create beautiful things you know so this is another one of my favorite pieces and stuff like this you guys you can create these kind of things in any color you want to and then for Christmas you can stick them in your Christmas tree I have a pink one that I'll show you that I stick in my tree every single year this particular one I stick in my Christmas tree every year I made this by hand years ago um, I made the bows and I put all the stones one by one on the bows I put the stone on the heart. It has some little pink crystals in there. If y'all hear something jiggling around in it. But I made the bows on the back too. And the, the little paper purse itself is just hard card stock. And then I made it with the embellishments with the bows. And since my Christmas tree is pink and white, I stick this in my tree every year, you guys. I'm sure you've seen it in there. And um, it just makes my tree pretty. So feel free to make stuff, you know, for Christmas. Make stuff for your tree make stuff for your door you know just just give it a shot and see how it turns out something else i made years ago was this um rose gold pillow i stuffed it with the stuffing um and i had never made a pillow before but i just wanted something small and cute to go with that rose gold reap that i showed you so i um bought the cardstock and this is like a faux leather this one isn't cardstock it's a faux leather because as you can see it's soft um, but I cut it out in an envelope shape. I uh, glued it together, stuffed it in the middle so it would be soft like a pillow. I made the bow for it and it came out super cute. And it was just something that was pretty and aesthetically pleasing for my room that was in rose gold to go with that reef. So this was a simple project. Um, if you guys want to know how to, I made these and would like to make them, comment below. Let me know. I'll do a tutorial on, on it for you because it was pretty simple. But it came out super cute, you know. And this is something else I stick in my tree <laughs> to make it glamorous. Something else I made, you guys, is my feather chandelier. I did it years ago when I was first redecorating my room. Um, and I, let me tell you guys, these are in the stores now for the prices of between $200 and $600. I've seen them for as high as $600 and as low as 200. Um, and I made mine, and I made mine way before they were in the stores, which is amazing. But um, mine sort of has an ombre effect. And what I did was I just bought the lampshade and uh, I bought the boa. I bought three boas. Um, and I bought one in the light baby pink, and then I bought one in the dark pink. And I just ombre it, and I glued it together, glued it on there, and I made my own pink chandelier for my bedroom. And I absolutely love it. It's been up ever since I've <laughs> redecorated my room years ago. And I love it, you know. I'll probably change it out if I move. It'll probably be something different or whatever. But for the time, this gave me, this mentally gave me exactly what I needed. <laughs> As y'all know, my last big project was the snowman. And I'm very proud of the way he came out. I really am because I put my mind into making him completely different from what I had seen on the internet. Um, on the internet, if you go and you look, there's a lady who made one and hers is completely silver. Like his whole body is silver. But being that my room is pink, I was like, oh no, he's got to have some pink in there. So I did his middle body like a rose gold pink. Um... I did his nose as a diamond nose instead of the carrot. And I did his hat with some pink and some bells, you know. And then, of course, I did his bottom with lights. So I changed it up a bit. But he's one of my bigger projects. Crafting is just one of my favorite things to do. I absolutely love it. And to me, 
when you are crafting and you want to be um, inspired, you can look at all kinds of things to inspire you. But also, I always say make it your own. Try not to do it exactly like somebody else's. Make it your own and, um, you know, enjoy crafting because it, it is something to enjoy. You guys can see those. Those silver shoes I did years ago um, when I did this room. They actually was a they actually are house shoes and they were a gift to my mom. And I asked her if I could have them to decorate my bedroom with them. And she didn't know what I was gonna do. But if as you can see, they are mounted on a Paris canvas. And I did uh, do the Paris canvas myself, and then I mounted the shoes on top. So that's another one of my crafty things I did. I thought it came out really cute, never seen it before, and I love different things that I've never seen before. So that was another one of my craft projects. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my craft projects and maybe we can do some craft projects together in the future. Happy holidays, everybody.